Hey Patrick here, hope you're doing great. I'm a PhD student at Oxford and in today's video, I will share my first impressions of my brand new desk setup. So, how did I get here? This was my previous setup, a laptop connected to a 24 inch Dell monitor, but for my PhD work, I often have multiple windows open, coding, browser, research paper, etc. I wanted to have the flexibility of having more things open at the same time. And so I decided to get one big screen to do exactly that. I've had the setup for a week now and it really does make a difference compared to my previous setup. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is humongous and it has curvature. I mean, it's literally everything you can ask for. And Son, um, what, are you, what are you watching? I can explain. I it's okay, you know, um, I think you're a grown up boy now and no, I think you're old enough to do certain things at your age. No, mom. I I'm not watching what do you think I'm watching uh, like I, I don't even have any windows open okay so it's no, it says no available windows okay so I, I I'm literally talking about my screen oh okay this is the LG ultra wide 35 inch curved monitor I completely underestimated how much space this monitor actually takes up my desk but it's absolutely a game changer I can have multiple windows side by side which really helps for my PhD work because I can continue writing my code in one half of the screen and have something else on the other side of the screen. And most importantly, it doesn't feel squished. Having a screen of this size and curvature actually fills up, you know, most of your peripheral vision. If you're watching videos, then you will have black bezels on both sides because the screen dimension is 21 by nine instead of the usual 16 by nine. I'm not really bothered by the bezels on the sides, but something to keep in mind in case you want to get a monitor like this. I have the 16 inch MacBook Pro spec at 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of hard drive. It's honestly a real beast. It can handle heavy duty programming work and editing on Final Cut Pro. And with my PhD work, having a laptop of this specification is necessary. So previously I had the 13 inch MacBook Pro with eight gigabytes of RAM. And honestly, the difference between that laptop and the current one that I have is like upgrading from a Prius to a Porsche. I have the wireless keyboard and trackpad from Apple. Now this keyboard has low cut keys, very good quality, feels good to the fingers and you can actually type ridiculously fast with this. I opted for the trackpad instead of the mouse for three main reasons. One, I'm used to the trackpad from the laptop anyways. Two, there are just so many gestures that come with a trackpad that it's just not possible to be replicated with a mouse and three scrolling experience the scrolling experience compared to the scroll wheel on the mouse it's just next level it honestly feels like you are you know gently gliding across this smooth surface it feels glorious i save all of my phd work and youtube edits etc on my external hard drive for many convenience reasons uh, I can easily connect it to my laptop when I'm working at home. And if I'm on campus working on a different device, I can just easily connect it there. Um, so the one that I'm using right now is a Seagate one terabyte hard drive. And I also have a separate one here, which is five terabytes. In case you're wondering if I organize and clean my desk just for this video, no. I like to keep things organized, clean, and with not a lot of decorations on the desk anyways, uh, but the one decoration that I have on this desk is this really cool periodic table of the elements. You can see all kinds of different real chemical elements in this clear acrylic and it's just a nice cool reminder of my chemistry roots. I also have this really cool cup with the periodic table of the elements printed on it and you know I drink like a gallon and a half of tea per day so at least I have a cool cup that I can look at. On that note that's it for today thanks so much for watching I really do appreciate it I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.